my job is to turn this into our walls. Can it be done? Yes, it can. Let me show you what I'm doing to prepare for a few areas that we missed yesterday and how we're reusing things that fell on the floor. So this is a patch of leftover cob that fell while we were troweling it on. I just swept it up off the floor into a pile because I knew I could try to reuse it and I've just rehydrated it here in this bin and that is what we're going to use specifically in this spot right here. Finally figured out what, how I want this bottle area to look and it's going to look like the bottom here. So I just need to do the top section. And also, Jonathan really wants to have this mini split area done this weekend so that when we hook up all the other equipment, we could possibly even hook up the mini split. So it is time to get muddy. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon. is the right mix but we're about to find out I'm gonna start on the wall where our wires are all coming through for our battery system and just give it a shot guys I hustle and motivate follow me I know the way grind hard on the every night and day and the 40 bank hard in the air I don't play I aim for the neck of the juggler so don't people think I'm a smuggler don't get it confused bro I'm just a hustler been in the gym so I got my muscle up Already I can tell this is a little too thick, so we're gonna put it back in there and get a little more water in. I'm like your Simity Sam in the Wild West. I just laugh at them when they wear vests, cause it's headshots on sight. I don't do beef, I just lay it to rest. I'm so hungry, my books sound malicious. On my journey, you're chasing my riches. I got so many reasons that I gotta make it, so I wake up and I go get I move like I'm the mob in my all black. You ain't down with my squad, you can fall back. If you never seen greatness, then you about to witness, and you gon' know what you should call that. Every song that I've been on is a hit like a ball back. I took some losses, but I got them all back. Been at the bottom and I'm never going back. I'm fully focused and I'm on track. I'm tired of waiting, I'm 
running out of patience. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm about to make my move right now. I'm tired of waiting. Okay, so let's talk about another mistake I made. On this batch, we did a two to one ratio, two parts sand, one part clay, and it is way too much sand. Let me show you what it looks like. It's really hard to tell on here, but it's just, it feels um, just like you threw sand on the wall. So we're gonna do a one to one ratio with lots of fiber in it and see if that helps. We'll do a test patch right there. What is up everybody? So while Ashley is working on the walls inside, I've got to get started digging this trench because we still have to run wires from our solar panels all the way into the solar shed. So we've got about a hundred foot run that we're going to need to dig two feet down because I believe that's the code. We're going to put it in uh, PVC conduit and just kind of get it all hooked up. There's a bunch of different sort of pieces and ways we're going to put all this together which we'll get into later but for now I got a really long trench to dig so I'm going to mark it off make sure I got it where I want it get the pickaxe and get going. Did you get real close? What is this, babe? Oh, this is so They're probably weird. all trying to breed with as many females as possible. drama continues guys <clears throat> let's take a closer look at what's happening on this wall back here we did a two part sand one part clay we added in toilet paper and a tiny bit of straw a lot of toilet paper because that's the main fiber we're using and you can tell it's very sandy but on the dry parts it feels really good there's no cracking and it's not flaking off very much. Like the, like when you rub it, the sand isn't coming off. So I'm liking that. On this part, this is where we did one to one, one part sand, one part clay, lots of toilet paper and a little bit of straw. I really liked working with this mixture better. And I don't know if it's just because it's not dry yet, but when I rub on it, this is what happens. So I'm thinking it's just because it's not dry. I could be wrong. I have no idea. If anybody else knows, we'll leave a comment below. So the next step in trying to figure this wall plaster out, I'm going to be doing this mixture again, the one-to-one -one ratio with the toilet paper and a little bit of straw. 
because today is Friday, which means our guests are supposed to arrive tomorrow and this wall is not ready, nor is the floor. We may have to figure out something else to do about the floor in this section or I, I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. It's just not done. It's not ready, but it needs to be at least partially ready so that we can start hooking up our power. I don't know what we're doing, guys. I just, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong or if it's just that it's not dry. I don't know. progress. I really am loving the one-to-one -one ratio with more toilet paper, a little more straw, and getting it to the perfect consistency to work with. And then after it's dried just a little bit to where it's like tacky almost, I go back with a plastic trowel and compress it and smooth it out and that is working out really great. I'm not totally sure if this is the way to do it. Every, every video I've watched, somebody's doing it different. So I'm just trying to find out what works for us here in our climate and with our clay. Jonathan was asking how I was going to blend this in, so I'll show you too. First I wet it down. This is a coat I did last night and then this is what I did this morning. So I'll show you what I do. Hopefully it works. On these stubborn corner pieces, I have to kind of use the end of the trowel like that, like that to get it started. And then I can pull it out. <laughs> when I have like such a drastic difference here, 
Uh, it's a little different. I gotta kind of mess it up even more. I'll kind of knock that off. And then I can come in and smooth it out. And then sometimes, because our walls are so irregular shaped, where's my little plastic guy? Sometimes when our, cause our walls are like super curvy, I have to use this guy, little plastic lid, and I'm able to get in more weird curves that way and really blend it in and act as that plastic shell. Once this dries more, I can come back and compress it even more, and it will look even better. All right guys, so this trench has turned into a multi-day project. Uh, as you can see, it had to go from solar panel array all the way to the shed, and that meant a nice 90 degree there to go up to the holes back there. But we also need to run power so that we can plug up our Airstream and run our air conditioner all the time. So uh, we've designated this as kind of a junction point. Also, the power for the house is going to junction right there. So we're going to get some sort of uh, covered box to sort of just protect all those and make it easy to get back to because we aren't running the house today. So we'll probably run that wire um, into like a sealed box and just come back later and hook it up and keep going. But we're going to set up a 30 amp plug over near our water pump and kind of see where that the trench goes. And then we're just going to run a long RV extension cord because the Airstream is not going to be there for too much longer because that's kind of where our house is going to go. So we don't want to dig a huge trench and run like really expensive cable two feet underground because that's all going to change really soon. Um, so anyway, that is our temporary solution. We are finally almost done getting all of this down to two feet. We're gonna have to dig out a little bit more where that junction is, go get a few more boxes and stuff. And that trench is still only like a foot. Boo. So that's where we're at. I'm tired of sweating and aching from digging multiple hours a day, but we're almost there. And then we can start running those wires and putting the conduit in and sort of getting everything in place. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Trenches are pretty much dug, so now I am test fitting all the fittings. Got so many fittings. Oh my gosh. Kind of see behind me, I've got the main line run from the solar array, but then we've got this whole complicated situation up near the solar shed where we've got power coming in, power going out, round rods, all sorts of stuff that all have to be connected. Right now I'm working on this, this combiner box here. Um, where I've got one going in the top and it will have three different wires in it and then out of the bottom it's going to come out and go three different ways. So I'm cutting holes in this, trying to test fit all my pieces 
make sure I have all my 3,432,000 conduit PVC fittings. I'm only slightly exaggerating. Anyway, that's where I'm at because I don't want to get into the middle of this install and find out that I'm missing a piece. It'll, it'll probably still happen, let's just be honest. But I'm gonna do my best to make sure. back from the store we bought a bunch more supplies um, this box I was working on yesterday where I've got the three uh, inch and a quarter PVC connections coming out of the bottom so what's gonna happen is is off of our three main wires we've got solar in we've got uh, house out and RV out right <clears throat> from that house out we're actually going to have three wires in that conduit it's gonna have the 50 amp it's going to have a bare copper cable that's going to go to the, the grounding rod and then it's going to have uh, another wire that's going to go to the RV plug. So, so we actually have two RV plugs. We have a regular 30 amp connection that we can plug the Airstream into. Then we've also got a reverse port. And so, so anyway, I got this installed. Now let me show you what we're doing. So we already got this for when we need to plug in the generator. That's going to uh, be mounted to our water pump house so it'll be a little bit closer. And I had to install you know, this terminal here on the bottom. But this, if you're connecting a generator to, to charge the power the opposite way, then this plug won't work. So I bought another box and I'm actually going to take this out. I'm going to connect the mail end um, which I just bought online so we're gonna connect that and put it in this box so that we can charge the batteries of the generator if we need to in case of an emergency so I'm hoping it'll fit in there it's gonna be close uh, we might have to do a little uh, modification but that is where we're at right now so I got to get this the new box out and start taking it apart and see what we can do
now that we have all of our boxes sealed with their pipe adapters, it's time to start working with our Unistrut. So I got a uh, just a regular piece of Unistrut. We got some uh, three inch U-bolts. We're gonna use that to uh, mount a few frames here to the solar panel array so we can mount our combiner boxes. Combiner boxes. These are already pre-wired. They have lightning suppression in them. We'll go over these more in detail later, but I gotta find a way to mount these to that Unistrut. So I'm probably gonna use some wood uh, and then figure out a way to get it into that Unistrut. So right now we're just cutting the Unistrut, go ahead, going ahead and attaching to the pole to get ready to mount. Um, also we'll be cutting our Unistrut for over at the three holes in the solar shed. So that is where those pipes are gonna come down. You got an LB connection going straight into the building and the Unistrut along with some pipe clamps will help hold those things down, hold them in place. Uh, it'll make more sense in a few minutes. Anyway, we're gonna start cutting and, and mounting these to the solar panel array and then we'll work on the stuff over at the solar shed. So, there's a bunch of stuff going on this week, as usual. Yeah. Uh, what did you get done? Oh, I got done the areas of the wall that we needed to have done mm -hmm. for our friends to come and help us set up our electrical and possibly even the mini split. Yeah, and the, I mean, the big deal was is that you figured out the mixture. Yes. Yeah. The one to two mixture did not work so great, but the one to one did. Mm -hmm. We figured out the right mm -hmm. consistency. 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 <laughs> with the toilet paper and the straw and pulling it at the right time. And it looks so good. It does. Can I just tell you how good it looks? Because it looks amazing. The wall? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks good. It does. For reals. Yeah. Okay. Then, Me, what did you do, babe? I trenched and trenched and trenched and trenched. With Adelaide. With Adelaide and Jet helped a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so we got all the trenching done. We dry fitted pretty much all of the conduit and we got all the boxes set up, the RV, like the 30 amp plugs, and then the combiner boxes, so many fittings. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Um, yeah. But we got all that set up and that's pretty much it. And that yeah. means that we, and then we were, we were going to try to run the wire, but then it rained yeah. and rained and rained and, and rained. filled your trench. <clears throat> filled my trench. Um, but that's okay because like we said, the Trujillos are coming this weekend and we are as ready as we can be for them. We yeah. feel like we, we got there. Now we did not get the floor done. Right. But we have a plan and that's okay. We don't have to have the floor done. We're gonna build the battery box in a way that we can build the floor up to it, but uh -huh. still have access to pull the batteries out if we need to. Yeah. So more on that next time. You'll see that next time. Yes, yes. Yeah. So whew, now we been, just have to get ready for our friends. It's been a week. Yeah. yeah. Um, get some rest. But guys, it's so green here. I know. We keep getting rain and like stuff's just growing out of the ground everywhere. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's been really cool to see it. Yeah. Kind of grow up and like, 
It's like it's like when we first came here. It was all lush and green, and then it all just died. <laughs> and it didn't grow back last year because there wasn't any rain. Yeah. But this time we had some rain, so it's cool to see it back. How many times did you say rain? Rain. All right, that's it for this week. We will see you next time.